If you're like me, one of the things that will always get you excited for a pay-per-view match is a killer video package. Showcasing the hardships and the heartbreak that these wrestlers have faced during their storyline feuds. WWE is known for creating those hype-induced promos that will make you feel the intensity of the storyline. But what if we brought that same energy to AEW? In this video, I'll be editing video packages for two matches that are happening in AEW All In London. So when I started making the video package for Swerve Strickland vs Daniel Bryan, my mind instantly went to the monster video for Daniel Bryan at WrestleMania 30. It is considered one of the best video packages from WWE. So I decided to use another of Imagine Dragons songs. I picked the song called Warriors. Yes, I'm using copyright music. I'll start giving a fuck about copyright when I start making money on this goddamn platform, thank you very much. So I gathered some footage from AEW's YouTube channel, and I prepared to edit the damn thing, but I forgot one thing. I forgot that my edit software on my computer is a laggy piece of sh- I found it really hard to cut through the footage due to the fucking lag, so much so I wanted to Pull my fucking hair out. I've been editing for an hour, or at least I've been trying to, but my editing software freaking sucks. Just, just watch. Oh, it's working now. Fuck you two. Whenever my editing software decides to not be a dick to me, I also tried editing the song a bit. But still, the lag on my computer was making the editing process more difficult and more time consuming. Okay, I managed to do an outline of the video. I'm just gonna do the B-roll on my phone. I'm not dealing with this laggy crap from my computer, honestly. After I decided to jump ship and transfer the video file over to my fucking iPhone, the editing process was a lot more easier and it was kind of fun. I wasn't able to worry about the fucking lag, and I actually started to have some fun editing the video, finally. I added some B-roll, I started adding sound effects like risers, hits, I put some weird effects in the video itself too, and with that, I was done. So here's what I created. Now I'll admit, there are some parts of the video package I could have worked on a little more, but regardless, I still love the end result. And I really hope you enjoy it too. You realize it's very true what they say. You don't realize it's the good old days until they're almost gone. When I came to AEW, I said I was going to do two things. Kick people's heads in, and I said I was going to win the AEW World Championship. Now over the last three years, I've kicked a lot of people's heads in, but I have not won the AEW World Championship yet. As a child, you would wait and watch. I'm gonna keep it real with you, Brian. I respect the hell out of you, man. I respect the fact that you inspired an entire generation of young wrestlers to go out there and pursue their dreams. Me included. And if this was any other time, I really would be rooting for you. But this is Swerve Strickland's time. When I came to AEW, I said I was going to win the AEW World Championship, and I did. You're one of the greatest of this generation, but I'm one of a kind. You said you were going to kick everybody's head in. I guess you couldn't handle it when they started kicking back. I'm going to let you know right now, Brian. This is not an achievement award. It shows everybody else that beyond a shadow of a doubt that you are the best in the world. And I am the best in the world. You challenged Will Ospreay, but you lost. Hell, on top of that, you got hurt. Will Ospreay challenged me and I won. Last year I competed in front of 80,000 people that are all in while you were too broken down to even get on a flight to London. I'ma also promise you this. 
that you will not be walking out of all in as champion. Swerve, I have one more promise. I promise if I don't win the AEW World Championship, I will never wrestle again. Your title versus my career. I promise that I will go to Wembley Stadium and give you every single thing that I have. I promise that I will give you 100% where 101% is not possible. I promise. That's why it's going to be great for me and a huge honor for when I retire, you and end your career at All In at Wembley Stadium. And your legacy becomes mine. And I will not hesitate to take that kill shot. With my body, with my mind, with my soul, I will go all in. For the Mariah May for this Timeless Tony Storm video package, I decided Fuck the computer, I'm going to edit the whole thing on my fucking phone. Because I wasn't going to end up like Ashley from The Boys, due to the stress of dealing with this fucking lag. No joke, I literally felt like a teenage girl while editing this video package. My eyes were just hot glued to the phone. But instead of scrolling through Instagram, I was making art. If making a dramatic video summary of a crazy 1950s actor going more batshit insane due to being portrayed by her groupie is considered art. <laughs> but seriously though, I had a lot of fun making this. So much so that I literally forgot to record the editing process of making this video package. I wanted to use a song from a Quentin Tarantino film. So I looked up some music that was used for Kill Bill because it's literally the most well-known Quentin Tarantino film of all time, or at least to me. And no joke, the first song I found perfectly summarized the feud between Mariah May and Timeless Tony Stark. The song is called Bang Bang, Baby Shot Me Down by Nancy Sinatra. Once I got the song and the footage, I went right to work. And I just couldn't stop myself from ending the video until it was completely done. I wasn't joking when my face was literally glued to my phone for the entire editing process. Like, I think I have an addition to my phone. Well, actually, that's just well known at this point. My family is very concerned. <laughs> so yeah, here's the finished product. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh yeah, much better. Now enjoy the motion picture. Oh. Mariah May! You said you loved me! Well, I love you too! You were perfect. I was five and he was you were all my dreams come to life, and sometimes you were even a better me than I was. They say you should find what you love and let it kill you. Bang, bang, that awful sound. Bang, bang, my baby. Let's be honest. You all saw it coming. The question shouldn't be why. The question should be, Mariah, what took you so long? From day one, I said I wanted to be just like Tony Storm. I gained her trust, her love, got closer to her than anybody else. And then I sliced her open and wore her skin. Tony always said this business would eat you alive. I guess it was just my turn to eat. But Mariah, you made one minuscule mistake when you had me on my knees, crying, screaming, bleeding, and screaming your name. You should have cut my bloody head off! Well, it all in! It's gonna be the romance of our bloody lives!
happen at all in Wembley when I get my hands on Mariah May and I do her woo. I really hope you enjoyed the video packages that I made. Like I said, it's not perfect, but I still love the end product regardless. It was really fun to make. I hope Brian Danielson becomes AEW World Champion at All In. And I'm very excited for Tony Storm to do Mariah May's woo. <laughs> do the woo, do the woo, do the woo.